Doc Johnson respects CFL Argos owner Larry Tenenbaum. This was kind of interesting. So finally, after the CFL offseason passed, it's three down versus four down, FUD chatter. The CBA is signed. The season is underway. All seemed well in the Canadian Football League. Before the season started, MLSC chairman Larry Tenenbaum talked to the Globe and Mail about various topics, including the CFL. Tenenbaum is rumored to be high on the XFL-CFL partnership slash merger talks. MLSE owns the CFL's Toronto Argonauts. They also own the Toronto Maple Leafs of the NHL, the Toronto Raptors of the NBA, the Toronto Marlies of the AHL, and the Toronto FC of MLS. All these franchises have gone up in value since MLSE has purchased them. The Argos have not. When asked about the current CFL business model and prospects, he said, quote, the community-owned teams seem to be satisfied with what's happening in the CFL, so we're working to see how the Argos fit into that scenario. I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with the structure of the league. My concern is, in the major cities of Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver, it's not attracted the younger fan engagement. You look at value creation, and you know, quite unfortunately, these teams are not worth that much money. The hockey, basketball, or soccer teams are trading at hundreds of millions of dollars, in some cases billions of dollars. And you see the Argos, you know, a 106-year-old league, technically no. It was a rugby league. It was in the 60s it turned to football. Whatever. And what value creation are these franchises trading at? You've got to look at that and say, is that success? They didn't pull any punches on that one, my friends. Now, there has been rumors that the Argonauts could jump to the XFL or MLSE would sell the team and start a new one with the XFL. Again, he's basically said the Toronto... I mean, talk about all the sports franchises you know out there go up in value, but a lot of the CFL teams do not. That is a fact, people. Deal. XFL chairwoman and co-owner Danny Garcia has repeatedly mentioned that the XFL 3.0 era is looking to go global. The XFL and CFL formally announced their talks were underway in March of 2021. Those talks were held under tight wraps with NDAs. XFL News Hub heard about the talks in February. Later, we learned that those talks began months earlier in October. So they talked for a long time. These two sides talked about everything under the sun, we were told. Larry Tenenbaum was very much interested in shaking things up with the XFL. There's a mutual respect for both MLSC and the XFL sides with Garcia, The Rock, and Redbird Capital. TSN insider Dave Naylor was asked about Tenenbaum's comments on a recent radio appearance. C uh, CFL News paraphrased his remarks. He said, Naylor says Tenenbaum's comments were aimed more at differing opinions about XFL option and joining forces with The Rock and four down North American football. Tenenbaum sees it one way. The league went in another direction. That was a quote. To the surprise of fans, The Rock was paying attention and he chimed in. Because Dave Naylor says not to be grandma police, but it's to whom, I guess, talking about the CFL, uh, somebody in that thread posted that. The Rock chimes in, said, love the grammar citation, which I have received many over the years. Larry was a great partner and advocate who I found to be a gutsy visionary who saw an amazing opportunity to grow the game of football that we all love and a very exciting and electrifying way for the fans. Interesting. He puts all the fans like Larry was doing this for the fans to grow the game. It was just very random that the rock would chime in on this stuff. What does it all mean? Eh, probably nothing more than admiration and working with Tannenbaum from Dwayne Johnson. That's probably all, but if you haven't figured it out by now, Nothing put in the press or social media doesn't have some sort of thought or strategy behind it. All we're saying, this is something to keep an eye on on the months of heads. So we follow, if you go to CFL News Hub, we follow the CFL all season long. Over there, working on CFL fantasy football as well. So we want success for the CFL league as a whole, but it seems like there's like the prairie teams versus these like city, big city owners. Could they actually do something? Could the Argos leave the XF, the CFL and go to... A lot of it is going to... Nothing can happen anytime soon. The only thing to keep an eye on 
if they're going to make Argos are going to make a jump or a change in ownership or something, it's going to have to take place around the time when the television deal is up for grabs. So if, if the Argos are looking to jump ship, it's either going to be before or, or Larry Tannenbaum is, is, and you look at all this, they've had success with all their franchises. The CFL is the only one. And people are like, oh, we just have to spend more money on marketing. Yo, know, you know, that's just, a, no. There's just something's missing. And we're just going to keep an eye on this uh, thing because I thought for sure this CFL chatter would go away. And it has not. So just stay tuned, my friends. We'll see if uh, anything comes to this, but we just wanted to kind of put that on your radar.